What's up guys, Matt Laidlaw here, coming to you live from the 2018 Harley Davidson dealer show. I told everybody 10 o'clock, but I decided to start a little bit earlier. So uh, yeah, it's about 9.30 Pacific Standard Time. So I'm walking around right now, done the, around the, the floor here with all the brand new bikes. So I'm gonna be showing you guys all the new stuff right now, kind of as I see it for the first time here. What's up guys? Here's the uh, anniversary CBO Ultra Limited here. Dude, the colors on the CBOs this year are so awesome. Here's another CBO Ultra Limited. I'm gonna show all the stuff, guys. CBO, here's a CBO Ultra Limited here. The colors this year are awesome, guys. I'm super excited about the colors this year. One seventeen, one seventeens, and all the CBOs this year. Let's go over to Soft Hills, guys. I know it's what everybody wants to see. This is my favorite CBO right here, guys. This is the uh, 2018 CBO Street Glide. This is like gun, gunship gray. Dude, this is so nice. The CBOs have different like uh, seats and wheels depending on what color it is. So this gun metal has like orange stitching in it, orange highlights, color matched wheel. Check out this wheel. You got six speakers. You got speakers in the lowers now. Here's your CBO Rogue Lights. I'm gonna get to the soft tails, guys. Don't worry. Everybody wants to see the soft tails.
Fat Bob. You can get the Fat Bob in a, uh, a 107 and a 114 package. This is called Industrial Gray, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, No, higher as well. Each guy can. 35 degrees. Oh, you want a six foot six guy on the Fat Bob? Go, go get on the bike when he's done. What's up? Go get on that bike when he's done. I'll carry that. I'm, I'm gonna put my brother on the bike. Jump on it. There's a six foot six, six foot six tall guy. <laughs> Light. So the soft tails are about 30 pounds lighter this year. So the dinos and the soft tails had sex, and this is what they came up with, guys. How was it, dude? Did you feel comfortable? Was it awkward? No, the seat actually is pretty good. I mean, it feels like a good bucket. It's much better than the street bob where it's got just a flat seat. And you can the tell. The bike it's... feels very light, dude. I honestly really want to take one out. There you have it from Scott Lathaw, folks. Here's the lights, guys. Fat bob. There's your breakout light. Street Bob, Low Rider, Fat Boy and Heritage, the Slim and the Deluxe. Alright, let's go check out the frame, guys. Enable DVR setting. What does it mean to enable DVR setting, guys? I'm, I'm new at this. Can you hold the bag here? So I don't know what it means to enable the DVR setting, guys. My bad. I'm posting the video to my channel afterwards, guys. Sorry, I, I, I should have enabled DVR setting beforehand. It's, I think it's too late now, guys. My bad. Alright, so here's the new frame, guys. Bikes will be at dealers today, guys. We got 15 today. At least in the United States, the bikes will be at dealers today, this week. They're shipping today.
I don't, I don't know when they're going to be in Europe, to be honest, guys. Here's your street bob. What's up, Shalom? What's up, Mitch? Yeah, I've seen the street ride specials, guys. We'll get there in, in a minute. We'll get to the street rides. This, this looks like iron red denim here. Color they had last year. So this is a street bob. This is a stock street bob. Here's another stock street bob, two tone. Yes, the Street Glide Special and the Road Glide Special come all blacked out. I'll show you guys those in just a minute. Yeah, there's different shocks in the soft tails, guys. Some of them are adjustable. All the bikes that come with the 114 option also have the uh, side adjustable shocks. All the shocks are adjustable, although some have the easier external uh, adjust knob that you don't have to take the seat off for. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys that in closer detail in just a minute. Here's the Softail Slim. These are all stock bikes, guys. The bikes you're looking at are all stock motorcycles so far. Sorry. Stock soft tail slam. Ouais, c'est le premier là-bas. Entre ceux qui sont équipés et puis ceux qui sont en recherche. You're doing all this filming, huh? Yeah. 
Did you put this on YouTube uh, last night? Yes. The whole deal? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people saw it. Yeah. How's everything going, Oliver? Pretty good. How about I'm pretty good, thanks. Most people. Most I people. prefer the old one. Do you? Yeah. And I hate it in the first Here's the new Fat Bob, guys. You can get this bike in a in a 107 or a 114. Get a closer look here. You can see the hand adjustable knob. So you can adjust the, the preload on the suspension externally with the knob on the fat bob, and the breakouts, and the fat boy. The rest of them you gotta take the seat off and you can uh, adjust the preload on the suspension with a spanner wrench. So what do you think so far, David? Uh, tell, tell YouTube what you think. This is a hardcore Dyna guy, you guys, so... I'm not fond of it. You can see the sorrow in his <laughs> eyes, you guys. You can see it. This yeah. is a Lowrider S owner right here. Yeah, I, I sat on the, the Lowrider and the, top, I mean, the Street Bob. It's definitely not the same bike. Okay. Um, Okay. I do actually like the way the Fat Bob looks. It's pretty cool. The fat Bob is pretty sweet. Yeah, I haven't got to sit on that yet. I gotta ride it first. I he's gonna, he's gonna reserve first. his uh, final judgment until he rides it. That's kind of where I'm at right now too. I think this frame is gonna tear it up, guys. Uh, I know everybody is sad that the dyno is gone, but um, I, I really think that this new frame is gonna just perform really, really well. I mean, Harley was pretty adamant about combining the performance of a Dyna with the styling of a soft tail. And uh, I think they nailed it, guys, but you know, we're gonna have to ride it and, and check it out and see. I mean, the, the frame, you know, the stiffness of the frame, I think it's gonna help the handling a lot better, a lot better. Here's your fat boy. You can get the fat boy in both a 107 and a 114. Yeah, stiffness in the in the chassis, it's gonna help with the handling. Uh, it's just when you're really cranking it on it on the freeway, you know, at high speeds, you know, when you when you give some input to the bike, it will just react better. Everything will just be tighter and handle better. These are 114 fat boy. Look at these wheels on here.
I'll try to show some digital gauges here. I showed the fat bob, but I'll, I'll show it again for you guys. I showed the fat bob. Here's the fat bob again. This is iron red denim. This is a stock bike. You can get the Fat Bob in the 107 and the 114. So this has the 114 package. I believe it's about 1,700 bucks more for the 114. Here's your fat boy with the 114. This is the industrial gray, 20,699. Here's your breakout. New models hit the dealerships today, guys, in America anyways, North America. For the little one, yeah. So I'm not seeing any cruise control, guys. <laughs> this is a breakout, not seeing any cruise control. This is the 114 version of the breakout. I'll check the other soft tails for, for cruise control. Look at this headlamp though. Awesome headlamp. So here's a heritage. Cruise control standard on the heritage guys. Everything's all throttled by wire, so I'm sure you can add crews to any soft tail. Um, it looks like some of the soft tails come with and without the, the cruise control. <laughs> so the Heritage does not have one of the dials that you can dial the, uh, the preload externally. You have to take the seat off. You gotta take the seat off and uh, use the wrench to uh, dial in the preload. So I guess the Heritage comes with the 114 option as well. I, I didn't know that. So you can get the Heritage with the 107 and the 114 as well. You guys are trying to take the windshield off here.
esatto, qui lei, adesso le facciamo. Adesso va a comprare, adesso mi hanno trovato perché non c'è così la roba niente. Adesso mi hanno trovato un bel cormato. Esattamente così. Adesso mi hanno trovato di più. So that's all the soft tails guys. Uh, any soft tails you want me to go back over? Anybody miss anything? The hair is all blacked out by the way. You look good on that. Alright, we'll go back to the swim here. Yeah, I think a lot of people are complaining because they just don't understand the frame yet. You know, everybody likes the Dynas for the handling, the performance, you know, the fact that you're on a big twin and you can really, you know, ride them hard. They've got better lean angle. But these frames, guys, are going to put the old Dyna frame to shame. I'm gonna get to the uh, touring bikes next, the specials, Rogue Glide and Street Ride Special. Yeah, we looked at the deluxe already, man. Let's see if I can show the gauge. It's wider, it's smaller. It's probably not smaller, but this is more narrow. This is more narrow. I'll be doing more detailed videos, guys, in the days to come. Yeah, I don't know how they increased the lean angle. I mean, the frame's completely different, so I'm sure the lean angle is a combination of you know, a taller frame and uh, just maybe the floorboards being mounted higher. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, so, um, you know, Harley definitely changed the fat bob, which I'm, I think it looks amazing. Um, did they take my suggestions? No, probably not, but... Um, Actually, I take it back, they did. The, the headlamp is just a, uh, a single headlamp now, as opposed to that dual headlamp up front, so. Mid control options for the fat boy. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure of a lot of stuff at this point, guys. So, yeah, I'd be looking for my content coming out when I have a little bit more knowledge and uh, I can show you on a better camera, a little bit more detail on these things. Right now, I'm just kind of seeing these for the first time with you guys. So, you know, I know about as much as a lot of you guys know at this point. So, okay, we're gonna get to the specials here. Uh, I'll have to get back to you on cruise on the Fat Bob. So, here is your Rogue Glide special. So, the big thing this year, guys, they blacked everything all out. This is one of the things that um, I definitely predicted. Uh, I thought that for sure they were gonna give the Road Glide and the Street Glide Special the same treatment that they gave the Road King Special, and that's exactly what they did. The price is a little over 26, I believe. Twenty-six seven. They also stretched the bags. Okay. So it's like you gotta go through the dining room and the dining room. Okay. Pick black things you wanna go. It's a 10.30. Okay. I might do that tomorrow. Okay. But yeah, I'll find you guys in there if I find more. Are you going to the technical form with us? They're going to the new model technical form. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. Okay. So I won't have a chance later. Okay. Good or you want me to take it? I'll take it. This is a new uh, industrial gray. So this is uh, the Road King Special, obviously. There's really no changes on the Road King Special since this was a mid-model year launch in the 2017 model year. They, they just changed the color options a little bit. So this is a Street Ride Special, or excuse me, a Street Ride Standard. So the Street Ride Standard you can order now with the bigger six and a half inch boom audio.
So this is a Street Fighter standard with the bigger screen on it, the bigger six and a half inch screen. So they call this Black Tempest. This is one of my favorite colors this year. This is a really nice color. It's like a grayish blue with a metallic in it. This is called Twisted Cherry. This is a nice color. So this is your uh, Street Fight Special. So they call this the Talon Wheel. Um, in my opinion, it looks very similar to the turbine that was on the Road King Special. It has a little bit fewer spokes though, so I'm told. You've also got an 18 inch wheel in the rear on the street glides now. Hard candy, you got it. So I think there's a wall with the new colors. I'll get to in just a minute. Here's hard candy, guys. This is a hard candy hot rod plate. This is a special, street ride special. You know what? This moves. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, here's, here's the kicker. The way they set up, you move them down a little and change the wrist. Because your wrist is Okay, here's some of your limiteds and your Electric Glide Classics here. Electric Glide Ultra Classics. This is industrial gray. This is Wicked Red and Twisted Cherry Two-Tone. Ultra Limited. I just showed hard candy, guys. They, they have hard candy this year. Here's your Black Tempest again. So, this is Electrified Ultra Classic. So the Ultra Classic is still the non-twin cold bike. So between the Limited and the Ultra Classic, the Limited has the twin cooled engine still. You got the luggage rack in the rear. On the regular uh, Ultra Classic, no luggage rack. You don't have the twin cooled engine. Interfering is that dull interfering. This is the uh, Bonneville Pearl, I believe, Bonneville Salt Pearl. This is a Rogue Glide Special. There's no CVO breakout this year. Another thing with the Rogue Glide and the Street Glide Special guys is they have the six and a half inch speakers. So I'm told they don't have the upgraded amp, 
So they don't have the 300 watt amp, they have the 150 watt amp or whatever the stock amp is. Actually, I think it's like a 70, yeah, excuse me. It's a 75 watt amp. They don't have the upgraded 150 watt amp. Yeah, let me go over that right now, guys. I'll show you the engine. Dark red is called Twisted Cherry. So, from what I understand, guys, uh, the big difference between the soft tail engine and the Milwaukee 8, uh, well, they're both Milwaukee 8s, but the soft tail and the touring bike one is. The soft tail one has an additional counterbalancer in there. I just talked to one of the lead engineers. They say it's back. The case is different. So there's there's two counterbalancers on the soft tail engine now. So it's they've reduced the vibration by 100%. I think it was the figure they threw out. So the second counterbalancer is between uh, the flywheels and the transmission. So, yeah, somewhere back here, you've got a second counterbalancer. It's, it's in the primary. They say it's, the primary is bigger. It's a gear-driven counterbalancer. The other counterbalancer is in the front. Nope. No more vibration to idle, guys. At least I'm not on this bike. On the touring bikes, they left a certain degree of vibration in there to kind of give it that, that feedback that most people are accustomed to on a Harley Davidson. But yeah, soft tails have always been 100% counterbalanced, guys. So that's kind of the direction they went with on this one. So yeah, they've, they've alleviated all the vibration in this engine. Uh, good question on the V-Rod. Um, I think the V-Rod's gone, guys. Uh, I haven't seen a V-Rod here. Yeah, the V-Rod is, is toast, guys. No more V-Rod. No. So, Wide Glide is gone. Um, the 1200T is gone. Uh, switchback was gone two years ago. So no mention of the live wire, guys. Uh, I have not seen the live wire. They didn't even bring it up in the show. So I'm assuming it's probably still several years out still. Uh, no changes to the trite, guys, from, from what I understand. Lowrider S is gone. There is no more Dyna family. The soft tails and the dinos got together, had sex, made a baby, and it's just one family now. So here's your street rod. Here's the Sportsters, guys. I'll show you all the Sportsters here. So we'll go over all the Sportster models. Okay, Ollie with the hard candy comment. There is hard candy, okay? I'll, I'll show it to you. So here is a 883 low. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, okay. I'll get to the anniversary bikes in a minute, guys. I will show you the anniversary bikes. Okay, here's a 48. Uh, the racing stripes, all right. So there's no S models, guys. 
but you can upgrade several of the soft tails from the 107 to the 114 and I would consider that kind of an S model. So your, your Fat Bob, your uh, Heritage, your Breakout, um, and your Fat Boy, you can upgrade those from the factory to a 114. You pay like 1500 bucks to, to 2000 bucks, and you get the bigger 114. So the 1200T is gone, guys. That's a big change in the Sportster world. Yeah, the music's kind of crazy. The music's coming from a CBO street light over there. Bumping. So I haven't heard anything about the V-Rod engine, what they're gonna do with it. Um, I think the V-Rod engine at this point is, is gone. Um, I think they're, they're going the direction of the, the streets, the streets and the street rods, and that's kind of the future of their, uh, their water-cooled high-revving engine. Here's the anniversary bikes, guys. So here's your anniversary Street Glide Special. This thing is pretty awesome. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Um, I'm a fan of this. This thing is bad, guys. They, they kind of describe the graphics on here as uh, tattoo-style graphics. $26,999, this bad boy. in the world. This is number 52 of 1900. Yeah, I'm digging this. Once again, this is a 115 year anniversary bike. I'll show you the other anniversary bikes here. So here's your uh, 48. Yeah, initially guys, I was sad about the Dynas. I'll fully admit, I'm, I'm a huge Dyna, Dyna fan, especially with how Dynas are doing right now. Dynas are kind of the up and coming bike that are bringing a lot of younger riders into the Harley Davidson world. Here, here's the thing though, guys. The, uh, the new frame is gonna destroy the old Dyna frame. I mean, I don't know if you guys follow uh, the Rusty Butcher, but Homeboy was wheeling that thing the first night. Um, you know, stop. So uh, I think the new frame is gonna be awesome. Yeah, I'll look at the tri-glide, Brian. I'll look at the tri-glide. Yeah, Rusty Butcher, I mean, he was a good guy to give one of these bikes to. Um, yeah, the Dyna guys, they're gonna be just fine with this new frame. So I'm sad that they're doing away with the name Dyna and everything, but so this is an anniversary Street Glide standard. So the standard has all the chrome on it. I personally like the anniversary Street Glide Special much more. I love the Dyna blue. There is no anniversary fat bob. So here's the anniversary breakout. Yeah. 
This one has one of the adjustable preloads there. Uh, that's a good question. The seat heights, I don't know what the seat heights are yet. They, they all sit sit low to me guys, so I don't know. I'll have to get back to you on the seat heights. Yeah, I would definitely say that the suspension on the Dynas have all been, well, the soft tails have all been improved significantly. No, the oil tank, this is not an oil tank. This is not an oil tank anymore, guys. This is where the electrical is, like the battery and everything. The oil, the oil is all underneath the engine, like all the rest, like the touring bikes and everything. As you can see, there's no lines coming off of it. Yeah. Yeah, oil, oil tank is not under the seat. That's how they were you know, before this year. That is not an oil pan anymore. So here's your anniversary fat boy. Um, yeah, the fat boy light, I like it, guys. I, I like these. They're they're more futuristic, less classic looking. But I'm a fan. I like them. I think they look good. I think it's a really cool, nice change. Um, the adjustable preload on the knob on the Fat Bob. Um, I don't know yet if it if it raises or lowers the suspension. Uh, I'll have to look into that. I will get back to you guys with all the details uh, on my videos to come. So yeah, be looking for my normal videos that I post to my channel. This is an anniversary 114 model. Yeah, I think they call the finish satin chrome. This is a 115-year uh, anniversary ultra limited. is the 115 year anniversary bikes guys yeah they put a 240 on the uh the fat boy big old 240 on the fat boy yes i'm digging the new uh the specials i'll probably buy one they're really nice Here's the tri tri glide guy. Sorry, somebody called my phone. Here's the trike. So I had somebody in the comments asking me to show you the trike. So this is the 115 anniversary color trike. So 
So, no changes to this thing. All right, what do you guys want to see next? Let me know what you want to see. Yeah, I think one day we will all need a trike, so we'll all get there eventually, right? Yes, there is a brass display. You guys want to see the brass display? Here's another trike color. So this is a... Uh, this is Twisted Cherry and Silver Fortune. I'll get back to the soft tails again, guys. If you're just joining me right now, um, I'll do another loop and show you guys the soft tails. You're welcome, Brian. This is a nice color. Okay, I think everyone wants to see the brass collection. We'll go see the brass collection. Road King is the same, guys. No, no changes with the Road King. The tire is standard on all the fat boys. All the fat boys have the 240. Okay, I'll show you more breakout. I'll get there. Um, I'll, I'll come back to the CVOs, guys. I'm gonna go to the break. No changes on the Roadsters. The, the Sportsters really didn't get any changes this year, guys. The Sportsters got some nice changes in 2016, but no changes this year. Here's a P&A bike, this is a 48. Okay, I'll get, to, I'll get back to the Road Glide and Street Glide specials, guys. I'm gonna show the brass collection right now. So these are like living parts. Um, I was talking to the guy earlier and he says that they will, you know, oxidize and everything just like a normal copper. The the copper on these uh, on these brass parts um, is all the raw finish on here. So they will wear just like you know your normal copper, like a normal copper penny wheel. Here we have the new collection item for the soft tail family, right? So there are a lot of collections that your family you know, right? No, no more V rod. Again, there are a lot of parts for the old soft tail and diner that do not fit the new soft tail family, right? So those are specifically made to fit the soft tail. You will notice that the front doors are slightly different. This is the new brass collection, so it's real brass. It's going to be very vintage uh, very nice with the black coat on the bike. And this is perfect. Okay, that's the brass collection. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some uh, PA stuff. Hey Jim, you came just just too late, dude. I just showed that stuff, but I'll, I'll be going back and showing you again. Don't worry. So this is a Road Glide special. Uh, good question on the wheels. Uh, let me let me check into the wheels. I haven't seen any new wheels yet, except for the stock wheels that come on the two specials, the Talon wheel, which looks like the turbine wheel. P&A is uh, parts and accessories. Mm -hmm. 
Pierre. No, the soft tails do not come twin cooled. They have the oil cooling, the oil that circulates through the heads. So what do you guys like? What do you guys think of this paint set? Uh, we may end up buying one and, and building a bike with this uh, paint set. Yeah, sorry, no TNA guys. PNA. Alright, um, what do you guys want to see? You guys want to see CVOs? Here's your Fat Bob. This is a 114. This is industrial gray. This is probably my favorite. Okay, we got some requests for the CVO or the uh, the breakout. Let me go back to the breakout. CVO Street Glides, we'll show those real quick. This is gunship gray. This is this is a nice bike. This is probably my favorite bike of the show so far, guys. This Gunship Gray CBO Street Glide is absolutely gorgeous. Here's another color, CVO Street Glide. Yeah, that red is nice. To answer your question, the, the interest is mostly in the soft tails, obviously. Uh, I mean, the soft tails are the brand new frame. I mean, a brand new frame, that's huge. I mean, it's a frame that's probably gonna be around for, you know, 15, 20 years, who knows? Here's the third color in the CBO Street Glide. Something that's cool about the uh, CBOs, guys, is they're all kind of really unique, like different finishes and stuff on the, on the grips, the wheels, the gunship gray. Uh, CBO Street Glide has a color matched front wheel. So, good question, guys. The uh, CBO Road Glide. Yeah, the CVO Road Glides, no radiators, guys. There's no more Dyna, guys. The, the Dynas and the Soft Tails got together and they share the same frame now. So they're all Soft Tails now. So there's one color of the CVO Road Glide. Here's another color, the CVO Road Glide. Here's a gunship gray. This is this is awesome. So on this one they have a short windshield um, as opposed to a taller windshield on that one. Yeah, you don't get the third set of speakers either, good point. 
you have a lot of the orange highlights in this. You have the orange stitching in the seat. You have the orange highlights on the grips and in the emblem on the tank. You have uh, highlights on the rocker box covers there in orange. You have the color matched front wheel. This is a 21 inch front wheel. Yeah, this is one of my favorite bikes of the show right now, guys. These and these are awesome. This and the gunship uh, gray uh, street glide. Great looking bikes. Here's the third color. This is damn nice. This thing is, is looking awesome. Isaac, dude, you're late to the show, man. There is no more Dyna. The Dynas are now sharing the same frame with the soft tail, so they're all soft tails now. So there's a street bob, a fat bob, and a low rider. They're all on the soft tail chassis, the new soft tail chassis. This is like a deep metallic gray or, or uh, green to this. Let me look up the color for you guys. Black earth and vivid black. Black earth. Um, I won't be taking demo rides today, guys. I'll be doing a lot of my normal content on my YouTube channel in the next week or so. So be looking for my full reviews on my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, to answer a question, again, that people keep asking. So the Dyna and the Softail were two distinct different families on two different chassis. And um, they now share the same Softail frame. So there will be no more Dyna chassis being made. Here's a soft tail slim for you. This one has been done up. This is not a stock bike here. No, this is a street bob. I'm sorry. Yeah, this one, uh, this one's been done up. See, I don't know what the hell this thing is. Yeah, now that the diners of the soft tails have the same frame, it's hard to tell the, the difference now. I believe this is a street bob. Yeah, we're, as far as bikes we're getting here, um, I'm getting a lot of everything. I'm getting a little of everything. I'm gonna go back over to the breakout here. I had some people asking for the breakout. So you can get the breakout in a 107 and a 114. I like the new Heritage. I think it looks really good. Yeah, guys, I think this frame is gonna be really, really good. I think the suspension is gonna be great. I think the handling is gonna be really good. I like the fact that, the fact that you can snap on the accessories really easily to the rear strut. So my initial reaction, I love the CVO, Street Glide and Road Glide, and that gunmetal gray, or the gunship gray. Thank you, Will Smith. Yes, we have, uh, I've shown the 115 year anniversary bikes already. I'll go back over there though.
We're gonna go over to a, uh, a frame with just the raw engine in it on the new frame. Yeah, guys, um, the new frame's gonna be good. Uh, I think this thing's gonna handle really, really well. That's a good question. I don't know where a lot of the weight loss came from. Um, yeah, be, uh, be looking for my future videos. I don't know where a lot of the weight loss came from. I think it's just a smaller frame, less parts. I, I don't know, that's a good question. I'll show you the new blue color. You, do you want to see the 115 year anniversary bikes, I'm assuming? Going for a longer cable. Okay. Um, there is no more adjustment at the cable when there's one here served by the cartoons, right? Think of blue. That's tired. Shrunk down. So the only adjustment is crazy. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. We literally turn it like this. They're separate. The engine and the tranny are separate. No, it's just one of the engineers showing us uh, kind of what's going on. I think they're talking about a clutch adjustment right now or a, uh, yeah, the, the clutch line adjustment. Um, asking me questions about sales going down. I, I really think, guys, that the uh, the decline in sales in the Harley Davidson world is mostly due to an industry problem. I think we're just seeing less young people buying motorcycles, and um, I mean, maybe I'll make a video about that. But I just feel like um, there's just you know the newer generation of riders, less less people are buying them. So I don't think it has anything to do with Harley Davidson products, but I really think that this will be a surge in, in sales for the bikes. Um, yeah, I think with all these new, these new soft tails, I think people are gonna start riding them and people are gonna really like the way that they ride and, and perform and handle. And despite people's uh, first uh, conceptions of the bike, I think people are gonna really like them a lot. This is a dealer only event, guys. This is not a public event. Yeah, exactly. Snowflakes don't ride the bikes.
so my thoughts on the Fat Bob, dude, I'm a huge fan, guys. This thing is awesome. If I didn't buy a touring bike, if I wasn't so freaking tall, I wasn't six foot six, I would buy the Fat Bob. This bike is awesome. You know, I haven't ridden it yet. Um, I will, and I'll, I'll post my, my video to the YouTube channel, but, um, you know, at first glance, I think this thing is awesome. You know, I would buy it in the 114. You pay about 1,700 bucks, and you get the bigger 114 engine. Um, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, I'll probably, when I do my ordering, I'll probably order mostly all 114s. I don't know why anybody would not pay an extra 1,700 bucks and get the bigger engine. Do all these have ABS on them, standard? Yeah. So all, all the soft tails across the board all have ABS? Standard or optional, depending on the model. Okay, what about this, what about this model? Standard? Okay, yeah, so to answer the ABS question, all the soft tails come with optional ABS or standard ABS. And uh, I believe this Fat Bob comes standard with ABS. Uh, the ignition? That's a good question. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, if you look at the MSRP differences. Correction, it's optional on this one. Okay, thank you. So, uh, ABS is optional on the Fat Bob, guys, just to clear that up. Rick Bell, what's your question, man? Okay, yeah, that's probably right. I think the, all the 114 models probably come with standard ABS. That's probably a true statement there. Yeah, what's up with Rick calling me out live, dude? What's up with that? Rick, what's your question, man? I want to know. Yeah, so guys, they're scrapping the Dinas. You know, if you don't know yet, there's no more Dyna family. So they took all the Dinas and they, they put them on the same frame as the Softail. So there's just a Softail chassis now. And um, all, all the Dyna models, well, the three, the Fat Bob, the low rider and the street bob are on the soft tail chassis now so there's there's one frame that the dinas and the soft tails share now these are the anniversary bikes guys 115 year anniversary bikes if you put slip-ons no they do not void the warranty you can put slip-ons on bikes Did I miss Rick's question again? I didn't see Rick's question. This is the 115 year anniversary Street Glide Special. Uh oh, I think I missed Rick's question again. Okay guys, so I think I've shown everything. Um, what, what do you guys wanna see? Well, is there anything you guys wanna see right now? There's no anniversary road, road King. So you've got the Street Glide, the Street Glide Standard. This is a Street Glide Standard anniversary. You've got a uh, Heritage. You got the Anniversary Heritage. You've got an Anniversary Breakout. Okay, I'll, I'll get. Wow, we got a lot of we got a lot of requests here. So here's the CBO 115 year anniversary, or sorry, not CBO, but the uh, the breakout, 115 year anniversary breakout. Rick, you're never too old to start, my friend. Just start now. Start riding. Oui, mais c'est sûr.
So here's some more anniversary bikes, guys. Here's your anniversary Fat Boy. So far, guys, my favorite new bike is by far the CVO Road Glide and the CVO Street Glide in that Gunship Gray. They look pretty awesome. Yes, no more Dyna frames. There is no more Dyna frames. The Dynas and the Softels share one frame, and it's considered a Softel frame. I'm gonna post ride videos in probably about a week, guys. Yeah, I'll be doing I'll be doing a test ride on all the new models and getting into all the real nitty gritty details. You want the Ultra? All right, I'll give you the Ultra. No more V-Rod guys, V-Rod is gone. So I love this uh, paint color. This is a 115 year anniversary fat boy. I see myself getting guys is probably either a street glide special or a road glide special. I'm kind of digging this uh, this denim blue anniversary street glide special. <laughs> this thing is pretty bad. CVOs guys. Black Earth Fade. I'm a huge fan of this color, guys. This color is nice. This is the CVO Ultra Limited. This is the most expensive bike Harley Davidson makes right here, guys.
That's a really nice color. Here's your CDO Street Glide. You got six speakers on this thing this year. You got them down in the lower leg fairings. This is a twin cooled engine. The Road Glide CVO is not a twin cooled engine. You know what I'm noticing right now is uh, the CVO Street Glide just has, looks like the 19 inch wheel, whereas the Road Glide has the 21 inch wheel. So yeah, the Road Glide, you got that big 21 inch wheel. So I think I'd probably buy the 21 if I bought a uh, CVO Street Glide. Okay, I will get to uh, the Road King in a minute. Anniversary bikes only come in the blue. No, I do not think the fat boy looks like a Vulcan. No, Tony. I do not think the fat boy looks like a Vulcan. I can tell a mile away that it's not a Vulcan. All right, I'm gonna go over the Road Kings. I've had a lot of requests for the Road Kings. Here's a road king, guys. Um, there's no changes, except for available colors. So there's no classic, of course. The classic was done away with in North America a couple years ago. So you just have the road king standard with the hard bags, the mag wheels. So here's the Road King Special. This is Vivid Black. Um, there is uh, there is no changes to this bike. This was a mid model year launch in the 2017 model year, and so you know there's really no point in changing this thing up. It's only been out half a year at this point. I'll get to the Sportsters guys. This is industrial gray. This is a new color in the Road King Special. Uh, I like this color a lot. This looks really good. You guys think I should get that one? I had a Road King once, I absolutely loved it, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go over to the Sportsters now, guys. Here's your 883 low. This is your industrial gray on the iron 883. 
fan of this color. This looks good. There's an iron red denim on the 48. This is a nice looking bike. Uh, the green chameleon color, let's see here. This is hard candy shattered plate. So I showed the colors a couple times on the CVO Street Glides. Um, yeah, you'll have to watch my video when I post this to my channel. I'm going to be posting this video to my channel so you'll be able to rewind it and go through the whole thing again. Here's some Roadsters. This is probably the most underappreciated Sportster right here. Yeah, the Roadsters are awesome. Roguelite Ultra, I'll get to that. Roadster. So here's the green chameleon color you guys are talking about. Yes, I, I would I would bet my life that the new frames are better than the FXR frames. Wide glide is discontinued. No more wide glide. All right, let me find a road glide ultra. I'll, I'll show you guys the road glide ultras here. Okay, I'll go to the soft tail slim after this, guys. There's no S series. Fat Bob is not available in the Gunship Gray, only the CVOs. So here is your Roguelide Ultras, guys. This color is called Silver Fortune. I think this is called Electric Blue. V-Rods are gone, guys. There is no V-Rod this year at all. It is gone. You got the Street now. You got a Street 750. If you want the V-Rod, get the Street. It's uh, not the same bike, but that's what they have now. For the V-Rod engine type lover, you got the Street now, the Street Rod. There is no CVO breakout. There are three CVOs right now, guys. Street Glide, Road Glide, and the Ultra Limited. Okay, yeah, in the UK and other parts of the country, you still have the Road King Classic. So just in North America, there's no Road King Cla Classic, but in other parts of the world, you still have the Road King Classic with the leather bags. Seat details, okay. There's no more Dyna, guys. The seat's the same. There's no changes to these bikes, guys. It's just colors. So the 2018 model year, the Rogue Glide Ultra, there is no changes. There are no changes, I should say, except for the color options. Here's your streets. This is a street rod. Uh, yes, there's an electric blue one. I'll show you right now. Yeah. 
I'm getting a lot of questions about specific colors, guys. I don't really know at this point. This is my first day seeing the 2018s, so I gotta do my own research. Um, I will be posting my full bike reviews to my channel as always. So in the coming weeks, weeks and months, I will be test riding every single brand new 2018 and giving my full review with all my, my detailed coverage that you guys know me for. This is a 1200 custom here. Yeah, Fat Bob video will probably be one of my first ones, guys. So yeah, I'll be looking for that. So I don't know what I have at my shop. They gave us a delivery of bikes today and I don't know which bikes they gave us. So I will be showing you guys, you know, what bikes we have. So for those of you who haven't heard yet, uh, there's no more Dyna. So, they, they took all the Dynas and uh, soft tails and put them all into one frame. So there's just one soft tail frame now. So here, here are all the bikes on the new frame, guys. They, they took three of the Dynas, the Street Bob, the Low Rider, and the Fat Bob. And then you got the Slim, the Deluxe, the Fat Boy, and the Breakout and the Heritage are all on this new frame. And they're all considered soft tails now. Yeah, I've been to the CVOs three times, but um, I might go back again. Um, I'm probably gonna go here pretty soon, guys. Uh, is there any last requests on what you guys wanna see or what you want me to comment about here? Yeah, these are all Milwaukee 8. So the new Softail frame has a, has a Milwaukee 8. They changed it slightly and they put two counterbalancers in there. The second counterbalancer, because the primary is bigger on the Softail chassis, is behind the flywheel and the transmission. So no changes with the streets. Here's the fat boy. So you can get the fat boy in a 107 and a 114. Okay, I'm gonna show the soft tails again since I have a lot of requests here. So you can get the Fat boy in a 107 or a 114. Here's your breakout. You can get the breakout in a 107 or a 114. It's between 1600 and 1800 bucks to do these upgrades from the factory. There's no 103 anymore, guys. The 103 is gone. Twin Cam 103 is gone. I will get to the low rider. Here's the heritage. So all the soft tails guys, yeah, they have some form of LED lighting. The slim, I do not believe comes with the 117 package. Or you mean the 114 probably? Yeah, the slim just comes in the 107. Maximilian, I literally just came from the, from the sporties, but I might try to go back again. 
guys, I haven't even sat on the bikes yet. I've literally been live, live streaming for like the last hour and a half. So I will be doing all my regular detailed videos on my YouTube channel in the weeks and months to come. So I'll comment more on that stuff. Here's your slim. The slim does not come with the option to get the 114. It's just a 107 only. I'm sure you can upgrade that with a with a parts and accessory kit, but you can't buy a 114 from the factory. Yeah, me too. I'll, I'll show the CVOs one more time just for you, my friend. Here's the low rider. We will do the street bob next, guys. We will do the street bob next. Here's the low rider. I think the V-Rod just ran its course, guys. Um, it's been out since 02, and I think sales were going down, and they just wanted to go in a new direction, so no more V-Rod. Okay, so here's your street bob, guys. Here's the street bob. Something kind of interesting, too, guys, is the shape of the tank, the, the fuel tank, is different on these different models. So. Just because they're on the same frame, there's a lot of differences with these bikes. So the street bomb has a really clean tank here. The street bob is a 107, guys, and you do not have the option of a 114 from the factory. It's a 107. Nothing really resembles the V-Rod, guys. Uh, that same type of engine technology is in the street, the street rod. So if you want a V-Rod, the street rod is the closest you're gonna get to it. Yes, CVO Street Glide is twin cooled. The CVO Road Glide, however, is not twin cooled. That was kind of an interesting thing. Okay, I'm taking requests right now. What do you guys want to see? What would you guys like to see here? Okay, CVOs, breakout, fat boy. Okay, I'm gonna go by the fat boy and the breakout. And then I'm gonna go CVOs again. Here is the Fat Boy. So the Fat Boy you can get in a 107 or a 114. The 114 Fat Boy costs you about $1,600 or $1,700 extra on MSRP. It's like really all the time. It's like 21 grand. I do. Yeah, and I hate that. You love them and you don't like it. I hate them and I do like it.
Um, I like the Fat Boy, guys. I think the Fat Boy is awesome. It, it really lives up to its name. The, the wheels are real big and beefy. You got the 240 millimeter tire in the rear. Uh, you got the solid disc mags that the Fat Boy is kind of known for. The headlamp is awesome. It, it's a really cool blend of you know futuristic light with the old styling classic. So I think all the soft tails guys are, uh, you just hit the run switch and they're all just keyless. You just have to have the fob within range. You hit the run switch and it fires up. Okay, here's the rear tire. Here is your breakout. This is the 114 cubic inch version of the breakout. So I just saw a comment uh, online says that the CBO street glide is not water cooled. That's interesting. Uh, you may be right. Uh, you are right. Um, I stand corrected, guys. The CBO street glide is not twin cooled. Um, I've been giving you guys bad information. I just saw the lower leg fairings and I just assumed. But yeah, the CBO street glide and the CBO Roguelide are both non-twin cooled. So thank you whoever commented that, I was wrong. Again, I'm just kind of looking at the bikes right now for the first time. So uh, yeah, the, the CBO Street Glide has the speakers in the lower leg bearings though. You know, the Salt Pearl, I'll go look at that again. It looks pretty good, guys. It looks good. It's almost like this uh, white white pearl with like a yellow tinge to it, kind of. So yeah, just to clarify again, guys, I gave you guys wrong information. Neither the CBO Street Glide or the CBO Road Glide have the twin-cooled engine. It's just the CBO Street Glide has the lower leg fairings with the speakers in it. So I was wrong there. But the CBO Road Glide has the big 21 inch wheel. No, the Heritage is not in the new 115 year anniversary blue. You got a Fat Boy. Um, actually, you do have an anniversary Heritage. I'll show you right now. It's not in the denim blue though. It's, it's. Uh, I'll show you right now. So some of the soft tail models come with crews, some do not. The Heritage comes with crews. It's all throttle by wire, it looks like, guys. So if you want cruise control on a soft tail that doesn't come with it, I'm sure you can, you can pay the extra money and get it installed pretty easily. You're welcome, Jessica. Here are the Sportsters. I'll show you the streets as well. 
Yeah, that red colored CVO Limited is awesome. Um, I'll show that to you in a minute. Hey Mark, I, I don't think I'm gonna go back there, man. I, I've shown it probably five times over the last hour and a half. So I'm gonna post this video to my channel, guys, and uh, you can take a look at it. Hey guys. New colors um, to the street rod. Oh, okay. Blue, the red denim, and then there's a white one. And Thank you so much. Yeah, you're going. welcome. Here's Jerry Laidlaw live, guys. So, what what are your reactions? And this is the legendary Bob Laidlaw. You you guys got thousands of people watching you. Um, we're absolutely elated with the changes in the soft tail line, replacing I guess eight models. And uh, I can hardly wait to ride one. So what would you say to all the Dyna guys that are sad that uh, the dyna has gone now? Well, you can't stand in the way of progress. And Harley-Davidson is a progressive company. So you uh, hop aboard or get out of the way. There you go. There you go, guys. Here's the legend Bob Laidlaw. What do you think of the 2018 model year? Boy, the improvements they made are just fantastic. We've needed a lot of these things for years, but to seem like they hit a home run than this one. I'm really impressed with what we have. So how many years in the business now, Grandpa? This is my 61 years being a dealer and 70 years making my living with Harley Davidson. 70 years in the Harley Davidson business, guys. 70 years. So he's seen everything. Well, anyhow, this, this is a real eye opener here. I can't believe the changes they made to, in the models that we've got. Get, everything they've done, they've done great. So I'm really impressed. I love it. All right, there you have it, guys. The man that's been in the business for 70 years, he, he likes the changes. So, yeah, he's liking it. Yeah, we've been a dealer for 60 years, and Bob's been in the uh, business for 70 years. I mean, yeah, Bob's one of those guys that could work on you know the old knuckle pan shovel heads I mean he knows everything about those old bikes Scott Scott has them all so dad um, call Scott and, or, or you can reprint them at the, the kiosk down there all right I'm, I'm gonna in this did you call Scott I did he said he's coming out of a pan. All right, I'm gonna end it. Okay guys, thanks for uh, sticking with me on this live stream. I appreciate everybody that joined me today. Uh, I've been doing this for over an hour. This video and this live stream, I'm gonna post to the YouTube channel. So those of you who are just joining me right now, you can see this live stream posted to my channel. I did last night the official announcement from the Microsoft Theater across the street here. I'm at the LA Convention Center right now. You can see all that stuff. Thank you guys, thank you for the uh, the compliments and everything, I appreciate it. Um, I will be doing a test ride video on every single one of the new soft tails. I'll be going into all the details that I couldn't answer today, all the color options. I'll be going into you know, the ignition, the key fobs, and the ABS, all the nitty gritty and the details and stuff like that uh, on all the soft tail models. So yeah, stay tuned for my full reviews, guys. Uh, for those of you who are just joining me, uh, I do some of the most detailed, comprehensive reviews available on the internet. I will be doing a video all about the new frame. Uh, you know, if you guys saw my Milwaukee 8 video I did last year that has almost a million hits on it right now, I'm going to be doing a video similar to that that shows all the changes with this new soft tail chassis, really gets into some of the details that some of you guys are asking right now that I can't answer because I just don't know. Um, and so I'll be looking for that video as well. I'll probably you know, be doing at least one video a week. Um, and, um, sorry, I'm trying to read some of you guys' comments here. But um, yeah, at least one video a week. And I'll be doing the soft tails probably first. I'm, I'm gonna be doing the new bikes first, guys. So like all your new soft tails, the, the Street Bob, the Low Rider, the Fat Bob. I'll probably do the Fat Bob first because I'm really excited about the Fat Bob. And then I'll be going into the Deluxe the breakout the fat boy and the heritage um, there's nothing new at the streets by the way um, thanks guys for the good word 
Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty lucky, guys. Uh, we got three generations of Laidlaws here. You got my grandfather and my dad here. Uh, family run a dealership for 60 years now, oldest in the Los Angeles area. This is our hometown, this is the LA Convention Center. So, um, yeah, I appreciate it. And yeah, I'll be looking for my future videos. If you guys have any requests for videos that you'd like to see me do, maybe the video you want me to go into more detail, maybe it's a political one, maybe I had a couple comments about uh, Harley Davidson sales going down a little bit. If you guys want me to do a video on that, I'll do it. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, let me know guys. Thanks a lot for joining me. Take care.